Welcome to Bob's Adventures. Today we're going to try to retrofit the AC on my Ford F-250 1989 from the old coolant to the new system. Hey everybody, I'm going to see if I can retrofit uh, my F-250 1989 uh, from the old AC coolant to the newer AC coolant. And uh, my father-in-law kind of explained to me how it needed to be done, so when I got home last night, uh, I went ahead and went over and uh, got the materials that I needed. So we'll see. So we already changed the high side out. That was fairly easy. And there was pressure when we did it, so that's a good sign. Um, and then Crystal just got the, the, valve, the valve out of the low side, so we're going to try to put that on. I'm going to drop the oil in the new valve. So we it on there. Did you get enough in there to spread around? I think so. I'll just spin it around. Hopefully this will work because they told me it was over a thousand dollars to convert this but I think this kit was 40 bucks. So if the compressor works we just saved nine thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> so we'll see. It just depends on if there's pressure and if, if it can build pressure or not if there's leaks. Hopefully there's there's oil fluid stuff inside there that's supposed to fill the leaks. But when we took the eye set off it actually sounded like air coming out of a bike tire so that's encouraging I think because mm -hmm. if there were leaks there wouldn't be wouldn't any pressure. pressure. Taking a family trip, it's supposed to be 99, so we're gonna travel in the morning. But if we can get this to work, that sure would be nice. Okay, yeah. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I think we're gonna hook it in and then turn on the engine. Yeah, we need to cap that one of them though, you can't do both. <laughs> connected here to the low side it wouldn't fit on the high side so that makes sense that that must be the right one so we're going to turn it on and see what happens right mom okay we're going to put the ac up on high here and see what happens I get it to the green, I think. You said the can got cold? Yeah. So, do you have to hold the handle in while you do it, or? Yeah, because it stops otherwise. Okay. So far, so good, I guess. So, we're switching cans here. We already went through one can, so that's a good sign. Now what's it doing? When I push this, it pops the can and the pressure starts playing. Is it getting cold? So here's where we ended up. We thought that the um, trader valve was taking the coolant in and it turns out it wasn't um, because when we disconnected the bottle, um, the bottle sprayed out and was pretty much full. Also it was indicating red and according to the directions that meant it wasn't taking it. So what we found was, I, I gave my dad a call and he said put a multimeter on it and see if you're getting any power. And we are getting power from the plug to the multimeter. And also the ohms test showed that the magnet was good. So I'm fairly certain that my problem is in my AC compressor. However, I put the video on here, even though it didn't work for me, I thought it was still worth showing people because had my AC clicked on, I would have fixed that unit for about $40. And that's pretty cheap. Now I'm in a situation, however, if I wanted to change it out, it's about $250 for a new compressor. 
but it turns out with AC systems that you need to vacuum them out and pretty much change the whole system. You can't just change one component. So I'm, I'm looking six or seven hundred dollars if I do it myself, a thousand if I pay someone else. So in my case, I probably won't uh, go any further with fixing it. But if you have an old vehicle, it's worth trying for 40 bucks to see if you can retrofit fit it and you might end up fixing your AC unit. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. If there's something I missed or something that you know that I don't know that could help me fix it, uh, please put it down here and I would love to know that. So thanks for watching.